The history of mankind is replete with wars declared over the expansion of kingdoms and territories. Many rulers and leaders came and went, plundering and invading others' territories and making it their own. However, in all this time, there have been some countries which have almost never been invaded. These countries have some uncanny immunity that kept invaders at bay in the past and keeps them away even now. So here are some countries that are almost impossible to invade. Bhutan neither has a huge army nor a well-equipped air force. Yet, Bhutan is one of those countries which has almost never seen an invasion in its homeland. Bhutan is a tiny country, surrounded by the majestic Himalayan peaks on all sides, and is itself 300 meters above sea level. Even if an army manages to reach the border, the altitude sickness will further weaken army personnel. By the time this army actually makes it to Bhutan, they will be so exhausted and resourceless that an invasion will almost be pointless. And this insignificance is its biggest armor, and what has made it so safe. The Middle East has been a hotspot of numerous wars, between countries within and with countries far away. And although Iran has been significantly involved in all of these, it has somehow managed to keep invaders at bay. The biggest reason behind this immunity is Iran's geographic location, which is so intimidating that Iran doesn't even need an army to keep notorious parties away. Iran is surrounded by lofty mountain peaks on all sides. In these mountain peaks, numerous hidden bunkers have been constructed, in which reside Iranian spy soldiers who monitor the terrain 24 times 7 for invaders. Apart from this, Iran has an enormous underground missile base network that stretches over the entire area of the country. If that isn't enough, the 500,000 military personnel, 1,658 tanks, 137 fighter planes, and extremely advanced nuclear ammunition is the reason why even the USA and Saudi Arabia hate Iran from a distance. Again, Australia's geography is its biggest immunity against invaders. The very fact that Australia is an island country deters any potential invaders and scares them away. 70% of its area is covered by the outback, an endless stretch of desert with no flora or fauna to be seen for thousands of kilometers. Australia's nearest potential enemy is Japan, which itself is 11,000 kilometers away, separated by the Pacific Ocean. Japanese tried to invade Australia during World War II and then was chickened out. If any country tries to invade, they will have to first navigate through 11,000 kilometers of ocean water. Once they have accomplished this daunting task, they will have to face the wrath of the endless outback. Here one either dies of dehydration and exhaustion or is killed by hidden guerrilla warrior groups. Switzerland is famous all across the world for three things, Swiss chocolates, Swiss watches, and its fierce neutrality in world politics. Switzerland doesn't have any enemies. This is probably why every department of the UN has its headquarters in Switzerland. But even though this country has never involved itself in any sort of violence, it is one of the most powerful countries on this planet. The soaring Alpine mountains, 24 times 7 army surveillance from hidden bunkers and fortresses, amidst the mountains will weaken any notorious invaders. If they manage to reach the Swiss borders somehow, the citizens of this country have permission to possess a weapon, along with military training. The biggest and strongest armor Canada has, is its geographic location and its size, second largest country in the world by surface area. Canada is surrounded on three sides by the glacial waters of Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, with freezing temperatures of below minus 30 degrees Celsius. These freezing temperatures and the inescapable snow inside the country is enough to deter the most powerful army in the world. The only way to invade Canada safely is through the USA, which is towards its south. And considering how powerful the USA is and how friendly these two nations are, the task is just impossible. And if by some miracle an army succeeds, Canada's enormous military forces with 95,000 active personnel will be enough. Russia is the largest country in the world. This alone is one of the biggest defenses of this country. Think, invaders like Napoleon and Hitler couldn't conquer Russia. And any present-day invader definitely cannot match up to their level or invade Russia. The Russian geography in itself is Russia's biggest armor against any potential invaders. In fact, the Russian generals joke that all they have to do is step back and watch the climate do its job. The climate of Russia is indeed deadly. Its freezing Siberian temperatures and treacherous mountains are impossible to navigate. By the time an army makes it to the Russian mainland, they will have wasted so many resources that it will be a cakewalk for the Russian army to subdue them. United States of America the geography and size of the USA are one of the biggest armors it has. It has the vast Arizona desert, the soaring Rockies and Appalachian Mountains, a massive network of rivers, plateaus, and snowy Alaskan landscapes. 
On two sides, it is surrounded by massive oceans, the Pacific on the west and Atlantic on the east. All of these, along with its military power which is the best on this planet, makes the USA the most difficult country to invade.